Meghan and Harry's romantic retreat is near Beckham's country home targeted by gangs. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's four-bed farmhouse is also close to the posh Soho farmhouse where Meghan, 37, has visited a number of times with her friends. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's romantic country retreat is near the Beckham's Cotswold home that has been targeted by gangs wise. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex spent last summer hidden away in the four-bed farmhouse, reported to be worth £2.5 million, in Oxfordshire. It is close to David and Victoria's heavily guarded pound £6 million home that was targeted in two unsuccessful break-ins last year. Former England football captain David, 43, and designer wife Victoria, 44, were left shaken by the raids. Masked burglars were seen on CCTV trying to break into the Beckhams' home, near Great 2. Guests at nearby Soho Farmhouse, a haunt of celebrities and royals, spotted them and scared them off. David and Victoria were traveling to Australia with children Romeo, 16, Cruz, 13, and Harper, 7, at the time. Meanwhile, Meghan and Harry spent most weekends at their nearby farmhouse last summer. Fifteen years ago it was used to house cattle on a vast 4,000-acre estate as part of a set of decaying farm buildings. Kate Moss and a number of celebrities are said to live nearby. Each of the buildings were radically revamped into a spectacular countryside residence. The estate is not far from the private members' club Soho Farmhouse, which has been visited by many of Meghan's friends. The grounds which were once a Roman farm, possess an impressive history. It was given by William I to his half-brother Odo, Bishop of Biox, following the 11th century Norman conquests. It is now owned by multimillionaire Nicholas Johnson, an old Etonian who has sought to revitalize its fortunes by refurbishing many of the building on its land. The estate is situated near the affluent Oxfordshire town of Chipping Norton which counts former Top Gear host Jeremy Clarkson and former Blur bassist Alex James as residents.